Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to get database out of single user mode, and we'll be learning using a SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. So let's go ahead and uh, use SQL Server Management Studio, and we'll be reproducing the error, um, not the error, basically the scenario up here that our database is in single user mode. Here's my SQL Server and um, all my databases are online let's go ahead and put uh, our database demo database into single user mode once the database is in single user mode one connection is allowed so after that no connection will be allowed to this database so we're going to go ahead and uh, go to properties of demo database or any database that you wanted to um, put in single user mode or bring it back to multi-user mode so we're going to go ahead and click on options and you need to scroll all the way down and go to the restrict access right here you get three options one is multi-user mode single user mode restricted access so we're gonna go ahead and put it in single user mode as you can see right here the single user mode icon right appeared here so no other user can access but one user so we're gonna we are in this situation so we'll be resolving this situation using two ways one is sql server management studio obviously and other is using t sql script so we need to uh, you need to have proper permission to bring sql uh, bring the database into multi user mode which is sysadmin so we're going to go ahead and right click on the database go to properties and go options and go back to the single user mode uh, go to the restrict access option and click on multi-user right here and click OK and yes as you can see right here the, our database is in multi-user mode so multiple users can access this database let's go ahead and repeat the same thing using our script so we're gonna go ahead and load our script we're gonna first put our database uh, with rollback immediate any transaction that's going on when I'm putting this database in single user mode will be rolled back and other option we have right here is no wait so we're gonna go ahead and click uh, execute this script and refresh our databases as you can see that database is in single user mode so let's load our script to bring it in multi user mode it's really not difficult just uh, change from single user mode It's the same command you alter the database database name set multi-user with no wait this is the command I was uh, this is the option that I was uh, parameter I was talking about earlier so we're gonna go ahead and run this command complete it successfully refresh the database and it's in multi-user mode so basically this is how you uh, bring the database um, out of single user mode and uh, make it available for multi-users to go ahead and other users to go ahead and use this uh, that particular database. And I hope this video helps.